Have you ever found yourself caught in a cycle of worry, unable to break free? This is a feeling all too familiar to many, a constant cloud of concern that can consume our thoughts and control our daily lives. It's like a shadow that follows us, casting a pall over even the brightest of days. But what if there was a way to break this cycle, to escape the clutches of worry and find a sense of tranquility instead? This is where faith enters the picture. The Bible, verse Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse offers a profound message of hope and reassurance. There's a path towards peace, and it starts with faith. Worry can be a paralyzing force, can't it? It's like a dense fog that rolls in, blurring our vision, making it hard to navigate through the realities of life. The truth is we've all been there, caught in the grip of worry, our minds racing with what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. Worry doesn't just cloud our thoughts, though. It can also take a serious toll on our physical health. Have you ever felt that knot in your stomach, the tightness in your chest that comes with intense worry? That's your body responding to the stress worry creates. Over time, this can lead to headaches, insomnia, high blood pressure, and a weakened immune system. It's a heavy price to pay, isn't it? Let's take a moment to consider John, a friend of mine. John was a worrier. He worried about his job security, about his family's health, about the state of the world. His worry was a constant companion, casting a shadow over every aspect of his life. It reached a point where John couldn't enjoy a meal without worrying it might make him sick or a sunny day without worrying about a sudden storm. His worry was paralyzing, preventing him from fully experiencing the joy and beauty of life. And then there's Mary, another friend of mine. Mary, like John, was no stranger to worry. She worried about her children's future, about her financial stability, about growing older. But unlike John, Mary decided to seek help. She started therapy, practiced mindfulness, and took steps to manage her worry. And though it wasn't easy, she began to see a change. She found herself worrying less and living more. It wasn't that her problems disappeared, but her perspective shifted. She realized that worry was not a solution, but a burden. Worry, it seems, can be a tough enemy to defeat. But there's a powerful ally at hand. An ally that can help us break free from the paralyzing grip of worry. An ally that can guide us towards peace and tranquility, even in the face of life's uncertainties. And that ally, dear friends, is faith. But more on that in the next scene. What if I told you that faith can be a powerful antidote to worry? Yes, faith, that unwavering belief in something greater than ourselves, can indeed serve as a formidable force against the debilitating power of worry. Imagine, if you will, a man named John. John was a normal guy, just like any one of us. He had a job, a family, and a mortgage to pay. But with these responsibilities came worry. He was constantly fretting about his job security, his children's future, and his ability to keep up with his bills. It was a constant storm of worry that left him feeling drained and hopeless. Then, John discovered faith. Not necessarily faith in a religious sense, but faith in the power of positivity, faith in the goodness of people, faith in the belief that things will work out in the end. This newfound faith didn't magically erase his problems, but it gave him a new perspective. It gave him hope, and with hope came strength. John started to see his worries not as insurmountable problems, but as challenges to be conquered. His faith empowered him to take action, to find solutions, to keep moving forward despite his fears. And in doing so, he found that his worries began to diminish. They were still there, of course, but they no longer had the power to paralyze him. Now, consider your own life. How many times has worry held you back? How many opportunities have you missed because you were too afraid to take a risk? Imagine what could happen if you chose faith over fear. Faith, you see, is not about ignoring your problems or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about believing in your ability to overcome, to adapt, and to grow. It's about trusting that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of light. And so the next time you find yourself consumed by worry, remember John. Remember his journey from fear to faith. And remember that you too have the power to make that same journey. 
Faith, it seems, can be a beacon of hope in the face of worry. But how do we put faith into action when worry has us in its grip? In the face of worry, faith might seem like an abstract concept, an elusive ideal. But it can be as concrete and real as the ground beneath our feet, if only we know how to cultivate and strengthen it. Let's start with the most basic step, acknowledgement. Recognize the worry for what it is, a mere thought. It's not the reality, not the truth. It's just a possibility, and not a very likely one at that. But faith, faith is a choice. It's the choice to believe in the goodness of life, in the power of hope, and in the assurance of a higher power. Once we acknowledge our worries, we can then choose to let them go and replace them with faith. This is where prayer comes in. It's not just a religious ritual, but a heartfelt conversation with a higher power. When we pray, we express our fears, our worries, our hopes, and our dreams. We surrender to a power greater than ourselves. And in that surrender, we find peace and strength. Consider this real-life example. A man loses his job and worries about his family's future. He prays, surrendering his worries and asking for guidance. He then takes a leap of faith and starts a small business. With hard work and perseverance, he turns it into a successful venture. He didn't let worry paralyze him. Instead, he put his faith into action. Another powerful way to strengthen faith is through acts of kindness. When we help others, we create a ripple effect of positivity and love. This not only uplifts us, but also strengthens our faith in the goodness of life and humanity. Remember, faith isn't about sitting back and expecting miracles. It's about making the choice to believe, to hope, to act and to persevere, even when the odds seem stacked against us. Faith, like any muscle, grows stronger with practice. The more we exercise it, the stronger it becomes. So let's put our faith into action and watch as worry fades and peace takes its place. Imagine a life where worry no longer holds you hostage. A life where the heavy chains of fear and anxiety are broken by the power of faith. It may seem far-fetched, but it's a promise that's been given to us. A promise of peace. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27, it is written, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. This is a promise from the divine, a promise that in the midst of our trials and tribulations, we are not alone. We are given a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that is not of this world. Consider, for a moment, a man named John. John was a man of great faith, but like all of us, he had his moments of worry. He had a family to feed, bills to pay, and a job that was more stressful than rewarding. But John, in his wisdom, turned to his faith. He prayed, he sought guidance, and he held on to the promise of peace. And in time, the worries that once consumed him began to fade. Or take the example of Mary, a single mother struggling to make ends meet. She was consumed by worry her mind a constant whirl of what-ifs and how-tos, but Mary, too, found solace in her faith. She clung to the promise of peace, she prayed with all her heart, and slowly but surely she found her worries easing. These are but two examples of the transformative power of faith. It's not about ignoring our problems or pretending that everything is perfect. Rather, it's about trusting in a higher power, trusting that in the midst of the storm there is a promise of peace. As we journey through life, let us remember this promise. Let us hold on to our faith. Let us silence the voice of worry with the soothing whisper of peace. The path to peace, it seems, is paved with faith. So can we truly break free from the chains of worry? This is the question we've been exploring today, and the answer, my friends, is a resounding yes. We've journeyed through understanding the crippling impact of worry, how it can hold us back, paralyze us, and rob us of our joy. But we've also discovered the remarkable power of faith. Faith, that resilient force within us that enables us to rise above our worries, to face our challenges head on, and to move forward with courage and conviction. We've seen how faith, when put into action, can work wonders in our lives and bring about transformative change. And finally, we've witnessed the promise of peace, 
that tranquil state of mind that comes when we let go of our worries and place our trust in higher powers. Peace, the ultimate reward of faith. Remember, worry might be a tough enemy, but faith is a far stronger ally. Keep the faith and let peace be your guide.